Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 80. I was involved in, not involved, but caught up in a flood probably more than 10 years ago now when an old girlfriend got trapped on her way home. So her car, little punto, got um, completely flushed away by a, I don't want to call it a river because it was just a road that had turned into a river and um, I went to, to go and try and rescue her uh, in my little uh, Vauxhall Vectra that I had at the time. So I drove down and um, eventually she got on the phone and explained that a farmer had rescued her and they intend to pull the car, uh, or they had pulled the car onto a higher bit of ground and uh, they would uh, go and get it in running in the morning. But by then I was here, it's places called Morton in the Marsh. These pictures are actually taken from something similar that happened a year ago in 2014 or just over a year ago. Um, but when I was trapped in it, it makes my heart pulp dead go faster just thinking about this but the floods kind of came in from all directions and it was terrifying because every time you turned around the way you'd come from had been cut off as the land just sort of was being encroached upon by the water now Patricia Steer had me on a show and I was telling her about a slightly different not near death experience but a, a plane that had banked and sort of seemed like it was going into a slip stall everything kind of went wrong and then the engines went to full pelt and in the comments I was explaining about a couple of other times that similar things had happened where I'd you know um you know had the my life flash before me and this was one of those moments but I was thinking about it this morning and it's kind of a flat earth proof when you've got so much water covering a vast expanse of land right the way up to the horizon. Obviously you've got the topology of the land either side which is, is causing a valley but ultimately speaking most of what we see here all the way up to the horizon is water covering the land and it's flat. Water finds its natural level so as horrific as floods are they prove the flat earth in as strange a way that might seem. You can see from your own uh, uh, point of view that you've got a vanishing point and you've got, although there are some hills on our horizon that do actually change the way it looks, it's not perfectly flat because of the way, I think, I don't know which direction, we're certainly looking at some hills. Um, but in either event, you've got a, a nice illustration of how the topology works and the fact that it's overall very, very flat. Um, so yeah, that's my, my beautiful example of flat earth caused by terror um, out of horror. Sometimes comes a nice little flat earth proof, even though it's um, particularly terrifying at the moment. Uh, so there we go. Um, I've been Nathan Oakley. I'll see you all in the next video.